Hey guys and welcome back to the vlog. So we are doing a weekend vlog today. I'm, I think my camera is dirty. Okay, there we go, much better. So we're doing a weekend vlog today. Um, for those of you guys who do not know, last week was my anniversary. And we are officially six years married, but we didn't really do anything for our anniversary. Like it was Resurrection Sunday. We thank the Lord for dying for our sins and our salvation. So duh, that was the main focus, right? Um, but today is uh, about a week after our anniversary, and my grandmother came down because she's watching the children, and we're gonna go to the spa. Um, a member from our church who we love so dearly, she got us um, a little. She got us a little gift certificate for the spa, and I'm so excited because apparently the spa. Bota bota. Yeah, it's bota bota. It's on a boat, and I've always heard about the spa, but I never actually been to that particular one. We only been to the spa once. So yeah, together. Yeah, we've only been to the spa in general once. Yeah. yeah, in general, like ever in our lives once. Yeah. So this is really exciting for us. Um, bota bota. All right, child. We're probably gonna go to the mall. We're probably gonna go to Sephora also because the Sephora sale is happening right now. We're probably gonna go to eat as well too. It's gonna be a whole weekend thing. And then tomorrow I'm preaching at church, so we're gonna get some clips of that too. It's gonna be a great weekend, guys. Amen. It's gonna be a great, great weekend. I also did my nails. Look at that. I'm a press on girly now. I love getting my nails done. I love like relaxing and getting my nails done and just like, you know, the whole process of getting my nails done, getting my hair done, getting anything, any kind of pampering, I love it. But honestly, it's so relaxing and satisfying doing my own nails and the fact that I can do it so pretty and cute. This is my second time doing it. It turned out very, very nice. I'll link below the press-ons that I use because they're really simple and easy to use. And it takes me like an hour to do my nails and it lasts like about three weeks. If you're like me and you're going to the spa, Looking like this. Don't no, feel people, ashamed. People can get dressed up to go to the spa. People get dressed up to go to the spa, but I got like I got dressed up to like go to eat. Yeah, we should have went before though. But, yeah. We should have ate before. Oh, thank you for giving me two seconds of shine. Did you want to be my vlog more? Sorry, I'm making it into my vlog. Yes, I'd like to be on it. Okay, well I'll think about it. We have to stop to get something. And yeah. Walmarts are so overwhelming, like it's a lot, like it's really a lot. But I'd be coming here every day, for real. because we didn't have time to go to like a restaurant restaurant. The juice was the best part. The, you heard me correctly. The juice was the best part. We might actually go to a restaurant afterwards because that's what I got ready for. So, we'll see. Okay, so we're looking at the dessert menu. There's a brownie. We're gonna get the, um, the brownie. Yeah. See, my lashes are gone. Yeah. The massage was amazing. Though, the massage was so, so good. And because I worked out yesterday, all the like stretches, last mm -hmm. like massage, was perfect for like Perfect. For me to like feel like I feel really loose, and then we went into what's it called? We went to the before, jacuzzi, which I never thought it would go in one, especially when it's cold outside. Yeah. But you know, it was fun. It was nice. Right after we went straight into the sauna, yeah. it was a nice vibe. But we didn't know that it was silent on that floor, so we're talking. You were just talking, we're and then just people were like, it people just started leaving and looking, giving us dirty looks. Yeah. And this goes like, oh, by the way, this is a silent one. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like we had no yeah. idea. So we're just talking about how the city we live in is so, so, so beautiful. Montreal has like seven cities in one. You know what I mean? Like there's like Montreal that just looks like dirt, and there's Montreal like super chic, but then there's Montreal like super modern. There's some Montreal like very like old poor. Like it's really nice. It's, there's a lot of different architecture yeah. depending on where you go in Montreal, so it really makes it. A, and then there's those like random cars. Like, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This H2. People still buy Hummers. Oh, you just missed it. I don't think I saw it. But we just saw a Hummer. People still buy Hummers in 2024. Like I thought that was like a 2002 thing. You know, the city's actually beautiful. Like, yeah, the city's and beautiful. we really actually go downtown unless we're going to church. For those of you guys who don't know, we actually moved to Montreal. We have a church out here called Campus Rush Montreal. It's a branch of Campus Rush Global. If you don't know what Campus Rush is, then 
that's a whole other different Guess you story. never know. We've been doing this ministry for like uh, about five, six years now. And um, we have the privilege of serving under Pastor Kofi Darte, who was our pastor. And he sent us out here to pretty much plant, build, and duplicate what they're doing in Ottawa. And so we're doing it out here in Montreal. And it's great. And it's growing. And it's beautiful. And yeah. And it's great time. It's great great time cool vibes my hair is absolutely my hair is absolutely crazy right now but yeah the city is great the city is beautiful the city is thriving and the city needs jesus the city needs, <laughs> the city needs jesus but we're happy to be here and to be um bringing jesus yeah. to the city it's aesthetic though the city is aesthetic it's There's aesthetically pleasing for sure even Summer's just having like be. events for church and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, it's reach out to people, the lost, the broken. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, no, it's, it's it's end time to be alive. Um, always a reminder, if you have not given life to Christ, today is a day. Pause the video. Say, Jesus Christ, I give you my life, my Lord and Savior. Um, go to John 3, 16 to understand why he sacrificed for your life. And then just start living. Because if you're not living for Christ, you're not actually living. You're actually dying. Um, that's just a daily reminder, you know? Yeah. Daily reminder to give your life to Christ and make everything right. Amen. Amen. Hey guys, so it is the next day. Um, wait, let me show you guys what I got from Sephora. So I did pick up the House Labs foundation. If you follow me on TikTok, you know that I was thinking about getting this foundation. The problem is, is that it's way too dark for me. I got the 500, 500 neutral, I believe. And yeah, deep neutral. And apparently I am not deep neutral. I always knew that I wasn't deep neutral. I know I'm more of like a warm undertone, but for some reason, like it looked like it was warm. And I thought they were lying about the neutral, but they definitely were not lying about the neutral. So I'm probably gonna switch it for the 490 because that's what Sephora suggested that I go with. And I'm gonna listen to Sephora. Next, I got this um, Charlotte Tilbury press powder. And this is like my favorite, favorite, favorite press powder. Look at this, this Charlotte Tilbury press powder. I got it in the color 310 and I'm wearing it right now. Look at that. It is so, so pretty. Like I love this pressed powder. And last but not least, I got the Unseen Sunscreen by Supergoop. This is my go-to sunscreen. It is black girl friendly. It leaves absolutely no cast. It is so moisturizing. It is so beautiful. I wear it underneath my foundation and it's just, really 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 good i love this i absolutely love this sunscreen so that's what i got at sephora so i'm definitely going to be going back before the sale ends i'm gonna exchange this house labs foundation for the color 490 hopefully it's more of a warm undertone i'll see how that is but yeah as you guys saw yesterday was a great great day went to the spa and it was just absolutely beautiful when we got home we were so so tired and i wasn't able to really show you guys my stuff that i got because um the camera died and that's not cute but we were tired and then i had to go and um work on my word because i'm preaching today i'm all ready for church right now but i'm not wearing this shirt do not come for me because i'm not wearing this at church no ma'am okay absolutely not i have <laughs> sorry my grandmother's there just looking at me she's being entertained clearly i'm not wearing this sweater at church i'm gonna show you guys my church outfit later um not gonna vlog too much right now because i'm trying to prepare myself i was I didn't even vlog all morning because I was just praying in my word, studying. Whenever you're preaching, quick tip, study yourself full and pray yourself hot. That's for all my preachers out there. Whenever you got a word bubbling in your spirit, make sure you are praying, make sure you are fasting, make sure you are studying. Study to show yourself approved, okay? Hallelujah. Hey guys, so I'm back home from church and we're just putting the children to bed But I just wanted to hop on here real quick because vlogging at church was just not a thing It was it was not a thing. Okay, especially when you're the one ministering and my camera was full mm, It was not it but service Was amazing. It was so 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 good um, Where do I even start so many people were blessed and they were just coming to me and tell me how blessed they were and um I was honestly very, very blessed as well. You see, it's so humbling when God uses me in 
any capacity whether it's to preach whether it's to just minister in any way even if it's something like a mini word on instagram or tiktok like when god uses me in any capacity it's so humbling just remembering where i've come from and how far he's taking me oh, wow it's crazy it's crazy to be honest it kind of reminds me of that song by victoria renze and nathaniel bassey and dunson I might insert it right here. I'm not trying to get copyright though. But no, like it just, it's crazy. Like it's actually crazy how God really just can use the foolish things of this world to confine the wise. Like it is absolutely baffling to me. Um, and I just give him all the glory because this word really spoke to me. I wish that there was a way for me to record it and then put it on YouTube for you guys because it was so good. I was pretty much just talking about how God can use the foolish things of this world and how he used King Saul who was a fool in the eyes of the world. People were even shocked that he was a prophet. They were like, wow, can Saul too now prophesy? And people might be shocked about what God wants to do in and through your life because because they don't suspect that it could happen with you they don't suspect that it could happen with your type of family and with your type of background but what we see in the story with saul is that god could use somebody he could use anybody and he can have his way in anybody and he can use somebody who is willing and who is ready to be a fool to the world if it means being honored before god all right if it means being righteous before God. And I talked about what could happen when we don't stay submitted to God, because if you do not know, King Saul ended up uh, not keeping the same energy. Nope, he didn't do that. So um, his story ended kind of bad, but I feel like we can really learn from that. Might tell you guys more about it tomorrow, but um, I'm gonna go get ready for bed right now because it's about to be a long day tomorrow. I was gonna end the vlog tonight, but I wanna add some more some more vim bam boom for you guys. So I'm probably gonna continue the vlog tomorrow, all right? The makeup is absolutely sitting though. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The makeup is doing exactly what it needs to do. It's doing exactly what it needs to do. Mm. We made it to the car. Um, took us a while to get here, but we're here. Sunglasses on. I need to get up here. Yeah. I wanted to give it OOTD, but like, I didn't have a chance to. Glasses are from Aldo. Headband is from Amazon. The sweater that I'm wearing here is just like a basic black sweater. It's from PLT, and then I'm wearing um, some leggings from Lululemon, of course. Nana, what are you wearing? Reflections. Mmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah, most of my clothes are It's right. age appropriate. Age appropriate? Yeah. Love that. I love that for you. So we're headed to Sephora. It's the last day of the Sephora savings event sale. So we are headed there. Nana's going to get a super goop sunscreen. I'm going to exchange my house labs foundation. And um, maybe we might get like a little makeup brush. Let's see. We'll we see. Go the we go with the flow. I was telling Nana about the cream that I have, like my uh, face cream, and I told her it was $76, and she was like, nah. She's like, nah, we gotta go. Last time I got 500, 500 was way too dark. So, let's see how 480 is. Let's try another one and see. Yeah, let's try another one and see. Okay. We're gonna try 490. We're gonna see how this goes. Vlogging in public is like, honestly, I don't mind it. I really, really like it. I feel like I've unlocked a new level of it. Before I would be kind of like nervous, but now I'm like, it is what it is. I'm a vlogger, okay? All right. This angle is not good. Nana got, I put Nana on the super group unseen sunscreen um and then i also got the 490 color and then got a little makeup brush it's like a mini sephora one made it to 
Costco. Had to clean our own table, <laughs> but we got a poutine. How is it? You put a lot of cheese. Yeah, absolutely hit it. We had like a few bites. And we're already full. I need to take a nap, child. We made it back to the car. Um, we are so full. Okay? I haven't been to Costco in a long time when it comes to getting food from Costco. And we were like, let's go to Costco. It's right there. Let's go see what it's about. We had no idea that they were filling up people like that for such you a little had, cost. You had no idea. Well, I had no idea. Nana knew. And I still have some left to to hold me for another day. Like, what? Here's the thing with shopping with my grandma, okay? My grandma doesn't end when it comes to shopping. Like, she doesn't end. Okay, child? So we are in our third... Wait. I think it's like a third or fourth store for today. She can, the term shop till you draw, if shop till you drop was a person, it'd be my grandmother. Let me show you her. And she'll find any reason, occasion, um, situation to buy something. If any of you guys have grandmothers or mothers who do the same thing, comment down below. Let's relate. Let's connect. All right. Okay, so we made it back home finally because as you guys saw, Nana wanted to go absolutely everywhere. When I thought it was over, it wasn't. Every store was the last store and then we finally made it here. So we thank God. But the other day I made these smash burgers and they were so, so good that even David told Nana about them. And so right now, um, he went to the store and I'm about to make these smash burgers again before Nana leaves so she can taste how good they are. Um, I am never, you know those like ready-made burgers that people buy at the store and like you kind of just like cook them a little bit? Never buy that again because I am a chef. I am literally a chef, okay? So I'm about to make these smash burgers and I'm going to get live reactions to show you guys how real it is. How was it? That was amazing. Thank you so much. 